Yes. Yeah, for cat grooming. Okay. So you're here for cat grooming? Please. I didn't see this before. Yeah. I it must be hard to groom a cat. Start the show. Possibly. Welcome. Thank you. Memorial Drive. All right. Where's Memorial? That's right on top of King. Right when you come to the top of King, you have to go right on Bedford or left on Bedford. Memorial's directly across. Oh, the next little oh, uh, yes, that's right. Where the um yeah the car wash. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Or it's splash. Splash. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's. Yeah. Okay, so you came to us last time and asked for revisions, and you've made the revisions. I wasn't here last time. Um, None of us were. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why are we have them? Do you have the Do you have the former one with you by any chance? I can send you an email. No. Is it in this? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. The board had requested shop drawings with additional information and made suggestions from the sign company requesting detailed information on the edges. Okay. Is it finished? Material detail information on what the letters are made of and what creates the marble lettering. Oh, okay. So it's just more, how is it fabricated? Mm -hmm. And centering it out quick, so looks, this looks centered. Or the, so yeah, that's so the correct or the sign to have equal correct. on all sides. They had asked for the type of material, pretty much the technicalities of how the sign were made for the mm -hmm. pan sign overhead, the aluminum pan sign, and then um, they had asked for kind of a different design for the window sign. The previous one looked more like a neon lettering, even though it wasn't neon, it was the LED, but it was made to look more neon. Um, and they had asked for just a different design. Uh, they didn't like the cursive look. So this is the new look. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I went back to the sign company, explained, and they had suggested this look instead. It's obviously not cursive. So they're time. boxes? They're like boxes. Okay. I wish these were closer together. What? Yeah. The placement of the, we, the we boxes seem fine. like they're just separate messages. Um, I mean, you want it to look like cat grooming, right? Yeah, there are two different windows with the wall. Right, I, I can that. definitely hang them closer to together. That's not a problem. So pretty much happy. I mean, but you centered it, so. Yeah. And, and especially at night, you're not going to tell that it's, they're not centered yeah. in the window. Because this is for a nighttime, right, I assume, or? Uh, it'll be visible, yeah. yeah both the day day. You'll see them in the daytime, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what was the marble? You said that they asked for a marble. It's a like a vinyl. So yeah, it, they had included a sheet that explained how it's made on the second to last sheet. Um, it's digitally printed flat vinyl background with not overprotected over laminate. <clears throat> And then the black is a raised frame around it. Yes, so it's a it's a molding that goes around it. So it is finished, it's enclosed, mm -hmm. and then it explains how it's hung on the first page, I guess, to the actual building. Um, it says marble lettering. What creates the marble lettering? I, I think that's a misprint because it's the, the background. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, here it says marble lettering. This is so they this is saying center sign to have equal on all sides. I don't know. This is referring to the box. The the large sign that goes over, I believe they're referring to. It but was, it says also with regard to a more stylized and sophisticated font. So yeah, so I think they're talking about this. I think they're talking about this one. So the font was for the window signs and then the centering was for the aluminum sign overhead. This one. Yes, okay. that's the centering okay. one that they asked for. Oh, the light box had cursive before. Yeah, it was an LED. It was or a LED. different style of sign and it was um, LED lights, but it was a cursive font and they, they wanted a different one. 
There is a previous one. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry, I didn't think that's, to bring that's this one. Like, I, prefer I prefer that. Too. I prefer this one. But it has that neon connotation, oh. so that's mm -hmm. what they put it's like a neon. So. But it's an LED and it's like <laughs> white. It's a white LED. Or? Yeah, it's funny. When I submitted that, I specifically asked, I called Steve actually multiple yeah. times yeah. to make sure what the code and the law was. And he said that was fine. And I walk in, the first thing, you know, the board set was, I don't like the design. So <laughs> here we are again. How was that one made? <laughs> That's what the LED They're both full of LEDs. There's no neon. But is that is that is this on in a, a board? box? Is it on a board or is it it's, board? it's on an acrylic back. So it's so you float. don't see the it floats. Yeah, you don't see the as acrylic. opposed to this. I yeah, think yeah, this I, is clunky. Yeah, I, I think, think it's clunky like too. <laughs> Who is you are the board with the authority here, so you can get that. Today yes. or the, this just doesn't that looks it feels I know. disjointed. I know. I know. I the door. So, so there's a black. Um, there's not. It's clear. If you flip it's clear. the previous page, okay. I think it says. Uh, sorry. Uh, there you go. That's that will explain. Okay. So. Here's a. Did like, you consider since you have, let's say we go back with this to this font, mm -hmm. would you consider doing your sign? And I mean, I'd have to see it, but. Sorry, what's the question? The, this. this is the same, isn't it? Yes. Well, that's it's not the same as the. No. It's not the same as that. Are you implying matching the font? I don't know. I'd have to see it, but I'm just thinking aloud. Or I would do. I wouldn't do a I wouldn't script. Do, I wouldn't do that one here. I, I would do. I, but I would do this, and then I would do this a. A sans serif. Well, so this that's is the logo. Just, that's your and logo. The font, yes. Yeah, so okay. that okay. that part okay. is by All right. Okay. Okay. But I, okay, that's fine. I still like that. Part. I like this. I would say do this and do that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is how I came here the first time. <laughs> really? Is it? Is that... Well, you, we needed some more specifications. Yeah, you still right. needed. You needed all yeah. these. Right. And, so okay. we are saying we're going with the new wall sign yes. as it's been you know, yes. detailed, revised and in detail. This and is this gone. And we're going back with the original window sign. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I love I that. Know. If we okay. get approval of yes. this, yeah. it hasn't been built. That so. was my first. I mean, I thought that was like, really? So, okay. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. All ingredients. Yeah. All right. You have your approval. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Do I have written anything that I should? Think? Not tonight. So Daisy will be in touch with you on Friday. Okay. And then I'll put her approval before telling the sign company to go ahead with any production. You, you are approved tonight, so you 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 can call tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Great. No, you're Thank welcome. You guys. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Samalin Investments. Yes, hello, how are you? Hi. Very good, good evening. They have a nice sign. Are you ready to share your screen? Uh, sure. This was this last another return. return from last time, and some maybe some of the new ones as well. So. Oh, it's a are you able to see my yeah, screen yes we are yeah, we have. great yeah uh there was some mix up with the copies at the last meeting so i do apologize about that you should have everything now okay you want to take us through it Please. Sure. So uh, we have um, changed our name to Samlin Wealth. Um, our current sign on our building um, says Samlin Investment Council, our former name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want to be able to replace the sign. Um, and so I can kind of walk you through what it looks like currently, which is what I have on screen right now. Yep. Um, the sign is just to the right of the door here, and um, as as you're walking in, it's on the left. Sorry, as you're walking in, it's on the right. Um, it has this wood molding around 
the edges. And so the new sign is going to cover the entirety of this current uh, square. Um, it's a pretty straightforward sign. Um, you know, it's just going to be our logo. Um, the material will be this HDU material, um, high density urethane, two inches thick. Um, it's going to have raised um, features. The logo will be raised. The letter, the lettering will be raised. The edges will be raised, um, and the background is going to be pebbled. So there's an example of that um, here. Sorry, this is just kind of an example of the actual, um, I guess, the finish and how it would look. But obviously, that's going to be our sign. This is just an example. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the background here, so these are our corporate colors, these PMS 647, PMS 648, this classic white, this is um, Sherwin-Williams classic white. So the idea is that we want the background of the sign to match the trim on the building. So just so you can visualize what that will look like. It's not really this creamy color, it's gonna be more of a white color to match um, our existing colors on the on the paint. And uh, you can see here letter height, um, I'm gonna be a, a, a more visible from the road, which is what we would like. Um, right now the sign is a bit dark. Um, and that's pretty much it. I also included pictures of um, neighboring signs, <laughs> which was, just... <laughs> I'm sorry? You said, you said the lettering was gonna be big, but it's really, it's. Well, 3.3 bigger, the, I should say. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> bigger. And you're you're a return to us because you changed your name. Uh, yes, that is correct. We okay. obviously no, have received. They, uh, no. a... I think they're a return because they needed more details. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, because they've been this okay. sign's been there forever. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Seems it fine. Looks, looks nice. good. Looks good. Yeah. yeah. You're approved. You're approved. Thank Yay. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Okay. This to be called a King's the score. And you probably wanted to hear it. It used to be a score at this building. Really? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. Is this halfway up? Okay, so I'll hear from Daisy and we're good to go. On Friday, she'll contact you. Okay, fantastic. Have a good Very night. Good. Thank you. Yeah. you. It's a nice building halfway up. With the columns, um, yeah. And that, so that used to be King's. Yeah. King's. A store, really? It was a store. It oh. had Ten hay rake. Is there anyone here to uh, come on in? Uh, I'll, I'll give you my chair. You guys can sit right, right there. Yeah. Um, so we are coming back from the last meeting. We were here uh, last time. We were three different people. So it was a request for more drawings, but uh, since we had a new team, we were going to do the whole thing. Okay. So this, is, uh, this is our copy of Shuffle the Deck. So let me start with uh, the existing. So um, this is our house. Um, these are front views. Um, everything around the, the front and side. Um, everything on the bottom here is completely unchanged. All of the action is going to be on the back here, and specifically around this um, what is currently a screen porch right there. So um, our project is mainly a kitchen renovation, but we're going to um, rebuild this screen porch as a fully enclosed space. Um, uh, one of the things that we're trying to do through the interior renovation is get more light into the into the um, uh, into the kitchen and what will be at the end time. So what we're going to do is take this roof here, um, bring it up into a gable coming out here. I'll show you in a second, and then um, kind of basically replace the windows wrapping all around. The, uh, there's going to be no change to the footprint. Um, the you know the really the exterior changes are going to be the roof and the windows. So let me take that to the. Um, Elevation. So this is the rear elevation. Uh, sorry, top, of the, top of the existing, this is new. Um, so again, the roof is coming up here. We'll put some windows there. Um, we're going to wrap that in casements. Um, there's an existing window here that goes into the kitchen, going to be replaced. 
And then because this roof is coming up to the point of this roof is essentially going to sit where that existing window is, we're going to split that into two. Um, you know, the style of the windows are, are all going to be um, simulated divided lights to kind of connect in with all the, the existing uh, escape view rooms. So the side elevations, this is what we were missing last time, but we, we have prepared for this meeting. Um, let's see. Just you know, so, so this is this is existing and this is new. You can see on this side, looking at the house. Um, again, we're just you know the roof is changing here, but mm -hmm. in, in this angle, it's replacing the uh, the windows, and then this existing window into the kitchen which doesn't really you know doesn't match the style of the rest mm -hmm. of it. We're also replacing while we're at it, um, and around the other side. You know, the, are you the owner or the architect? We're we're yeah. we're the yeah. owners. Okay. Uh, around the other side, uh, you know, what is uh, you speak? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we spent a lot of time with them. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's right? Some was rubbed off. Uh, so, on that from this angle, it's just the door. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, my, my only little comment is why doesn't the gable and just reach out a little bit further? But I guess your whole house has a very short. Yeah, actually, and it, it may not be obvious from some of these drawings, but if you look at the, yeah, they're all short. They're all short. There's no, so there's no, no okay. you know, we have to make it easy. Okay. Who was your uh, architect? Yes. Brian Crowley. Yeah, looks okay, yeah, looks good. Looks good. Huh? You were approved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. Seven Breckenridge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, pretty much. Good evening. Cool. Yeah, I know you're right around the corner. Um, hello. Hi. Hello. And I believe that um, Dave from Duck Remodelers is also on uh, the company that's going to be doing this deck work for us. Yep, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> And there we go. All right. How you doing? Hi. Uh, we are proposing a pergola, louvered pergola roof over a an existing deck at the uh, residence. Um, I could share my. Screen. Would you like me to share my screen with the? Yes, drawing? please. Yeah. Can you see the plans? Not yet. Not yet. There we go. Yes, sir. All right. So the uh, the outline. This is the existing deck um, at the back of the house. Uh, the dotted line here indicates where the pergola will be installed over the existing deck. Uh, it's about. It's going to be fourteen by sixteen. So the deck is not changing at all. It's just the roof structure, the pergola that we're putting over the deck. The rear elevation looks like that. These piers, all the decking is here already. We're just putting this roof structure over that part in the deck. I mean, just to be clear, we are, we have, we're replacing the wooden deck with the uh, composite material, but the deck we have a deck currently there we're just replacing the mm -hmm. materials yeah, and the, yeah. the columns are going to remain everything is remaining that's the only new structural piece of this area. what is the what is the current siding on the house is it it's cedar um okay. and it's it's got a stain a, like a, a very three sure. levels of stains mm -hmm. that's what I have some existing conditions pictures if you want to see that. Yeah. All right, hold on one second. I gotta change the screens here. So the current back of the house. So is, it, is this a metal uh, pergola? Yeah, it's made out of aluminum. Is this from a, a, a company that makes these? Yeah, it's called Equinox. Okay. So they're they're components. We uh, we purchase lengths of them. We cut them to fit to okay. different sizes. So that's can you see that screen? Yeah. So your railing, you're keeping the same, all the. Yep. So the, the pergola is going to go right in between these two posts up above the, the doors here in the back. 
Do you, do you have a visual from the manufacturer of what these things kind of look like? I have a 3D rendering that we made of this with it on the house, if you want to see that. Sure. Okay. Let me get back to you. Bear with me one second. Does the house have a flat roof or is it sloped? Yeah, it's flat. It's flat. It's flat. Okay. All right, oh. that's, uh, that's a, a rendering of the the back with the pergola over the roof, the deck. Can you move in on that a little? I don't know if it'll zoom in. Mm -hmm. I better than what you like to zoom in. Oh. <laughs> that, yeah, it doesn't really. So what color is that thing going to, is the pergola going to be? So the, the okay, frame, the frame yeah. is going to be black and the louvers are going to be uh, like a beige color. That's not, that's not so yeah, it's all is that good. a better picture? Yeah. Yeah. So how does it? How the little fins rotate. To the, uh, to the house. And is it just going to be on a ledger at the house? Yeah, it gets attached to a ledger and, and flashed against the wall. And then there's a this beam, this this part cantilevers out a little bit <laughs> at the edge of the deck. Okay. And these um, these drain. It has an internal gutter around the inside of the frame, so when the louvers are closed and it's raining. Yeah. They're pitched just slightly so that the water runs to the internal gutter and then down. And then where does it go from there? Into a leader and we'll tie into the existing drain that goes, uh, they have an underground drain system for the leader. Is that going to be on the house or on the post? Uh, no, it'll be on the house. Okay. Uh... Can you share the front view again, please? Not the, not a... No, that's, that's... Back. Yeah. That one. So, which is more? I, I mean, I, I assume the drawings are more accurate mm -hmm. than what you show there. The, the, the front of the house. Oh, I didn't mean the front. Because it looks like oh, you have like side. like a twelve-inch beam going between the columns. When you say it's more like a four by eight. The uh, beam here. Yeah, it looks humongous there. It's no, nah, it's a, it's actually four by eight. The whole frame is actually made out of four by eight aluminum beams. Does, does the four by eight return back to the house? On the sides, yeah. If you look at it from here, there's a, no. a drop. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's just... And then these beams return back to the house. No, I'm talking yeah. about the one below that. That face. That's the main girder. Yeah, no, this this is just a drop support it's out. It's just there. there. But is that four by eight or? Yes, yep. And how far back is that from the, from the front? Yeah. Uh, this is a two foot can leave. The drawings just yeah, the drawings what if the, the drawings, drawings is bad. Yeah. So you won't see it as much. It's, it's two feet back. It's kind of it's a quirky house. Yeah, I think it's okay. You're approved. Thank you. You're approved. Great, thank you. Thank yep. you. Have a good evening. Thanks. You too. That's all he does is desk. Okay. Uh, I guess the room. There was no art on there, but he, she said he was going to remodel. This is the picture of the house. And that the room. It looked almost um, uh, arts and crafts. Edwin's yeah. barber shop? But it wasn't. No. They were trying. I don't know. Wait. There we go. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. I'm presenting the whole thing. How are you yeah. doing, everybody? Good. Hi. Where where is this going to be? I don't know. Hello. Uh, Quaker Tavern to the. Oh, Sorry, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna okay. share the screen. Quaker Tavern. Okay. Talk about tears. <laughs> it's if you remember the board reviewed a, a yeah, new storefront. Store yeah. In the interim. There's a barbershop that has come in. Okay. And they're looking oh, okay. to. Oh, that was the like the peanut place. Yes, okay. correct. And there's signage in the window now, mm -hmm. and they'd like to legitimize it. Oh, oh this is existing. Is this a, a pop up or is this temporary or yeah. is he's, he's leasing? He's leasing. Oh, I'm sure it's supposed to be. All right. All right. Permanent. 
Can, can you guys see the screen? We can. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm presenting an existing vinyl decal. Uh, so we, we installed this and the, you guys let us know that we had to legalize it. So, um, <laughs> This is this is how it actually looks now. Uh -huh. uh, it's two round logos on each window. Looks like a render. Uh, the measurement, the dimension is twenty seven inches. This is all around. I have to verify the size. So, because this doesn't, this isn't obviously fifteen percent. I, I have to, could be. It I have be. to do the math because when you do pi r squared, it doesn't come up to that much substance. Oh, is the background black of the circle, or do you see through it? No, I think it's you glass. see through it. So. Oh, okay. oh, oh, no, so you, you, you can see it. through it. Right. So, so you don't count that. Yeah, that, that's okay. just the shade of the, the interior. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm fine with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And it's white? <laughs> it's up there, right? Yeah. It's a white it's vinyl decal, yeah. There is a vacant space. Yeah, but what was that? Before? Uh, th this is next. Mm -hmm. Next to it. Okay, we're, yeah, we're... It's a, yeah, it's a vacant space, and then the next yeah, I'm one. To, I'm I just trying to remember it. what it was before. Okay. Mm. Okay. okay. There Bobby's. was Bobby Sue's nuts was no, in one of them, and there was a package place in the other one. Package place. Yeah. Like a UPS. Uh, not a different type of packages. Mm. Okay. So you're, thank you. You're, you're, approved. Approved. you're approved. You can keep it. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good night, everybody. Yep. Good, good night. And this is Ed Vince. So that closes us down for tonight.